Hello learner, welcome to Manifested e-learning platform. My name is FAM Lingwiri and I practice within the financial services industry in Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to discuss about portfolio management. Focus is on private wealth management. We are going to discuss about the wealth management process. And I thought it to be fit um, so that um, I can be able to include it in form of a diagram, like that in a process diagram, um, that begins by discussing about um, the discovery meeting. In the first lesson um, to private wealth management, the introduction, um, I had walked you through about the information that is needed um, for um, um, that needs to be collected so that you can be able to manage um, 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 funds on behalf of private um, clients there. And that's what we're discussing right over here, discovery meeting. So this meeting is where you have um, interaction between the wealth managers and um, the client themselves. So specifically, um, it would be like a fact-finding mission where you're going to get personal information you're going to get financial information as wealth managers. You're going to collect personal information for the clients, financial information for the clients, the tax um, and position, and amongst other um, information that is actually needed. And of course, I had explained um, all of those points in the first lesson. On this other side, in terms of fact-finding mission, um, we will be required to um, devise an investment plan. An investment plan. The investment plan um, that is needed um, so that um, it can be attuned um, to um, the client's best needs. And that means you need to develop the IPS, the Investment Policy Statement. The Investment Policy Statement over here talks about objectives on one side over here and constraints on this other side. So this process between the discovery meeting and diagnosis for the current situation and recommendations for moving forward takes two weeks. So the, there'll be like kind of like um, a back and forth process um, of where um, the client will be providing this personal information and also the wealth managers or the um, um, private wealth client, private wealth managers will be um, trying to construct um, the IPS or um, formulate um, the investment plan. They've not yet started um, constructing the portfolio. So the process between discovery meeting and diagnosis um, takes about two weeks like that. Or it could even be longer. So under this diagnosis for current situation and recommendations for moving forward, we will need to analyze the current market expectations or you try and forecast the current market expectations um, and against the clients and um, assets and um, liabilities or even the net worth over there. So this is um, where now um, the wealth manager um, tries to come up with um, the best possible um, um, situation or scenario, kind of like a scenario analysis um, setup where um, they're able to um, come up with recommendations for moving forward. And in the process between um, the diagnosis right here and the in uh, investment plan meeting, where it takes also two weeks. Under the investment plan meeting right here, guys, um, what is expected is that the presentation or a presentation is done um, of the investment plan. So the investment plan is specific to that client and it could be different from different um, other clients there. As well, what would be expected will be um, now from the, from the wealth manager side, um, they'll identify a team, professionals are selected. So a team of dedicated managers will be selected so that um, they can be able to um, actualize this investment plan. And that's why we're saying um, that this is um, um, an investment plan meeting. So the difference between this and this takes two weeks, at, at least two weeks there. Now, from the investment plan formulation or meeting um, to the mutual consent, because you can see by this arrow, by the mutual consent um, meeting where the wealth managers um, and the clients, the private wealth clients, private clients, um, come up with form of like a contract, um, investment management agreement like that. So the investment management agreement um, is the one that stipulates what, you know, the asset, the, the um, what the investors, um, whether they are investors or the private wealth clients actually agree um, with the investment plan that has actually been devised for them um, right over here. Do they agree or they dis do they disagree? If they disagree, then of course we need now to go back to this step over here and, and try and do another presentation. And then also different professionals are actually selected based on 
um, and the objectives and the constraints. So the mutual fund consent, mutual consent meeting, um, there is confirmation and um, consent is agreed upon over here. So of course there'll be some exchanging of papers and um, signatures and so on and so forth and providing of information that is actually needed um, at this step over here. As well, mutual consent meeting, um, application of skills um, to devise strategies, either active management strategies or passive management strategies or semi-active strategies are actually going to be selected um, in line with the IPS step right over here, the beginning right over here, the first step over here for the client, guys. So this step is very crucial and, and between the investment plan formulation meeting and the mutual consent meeting should be about one week. Now, in terms of the mutual consent meeting and the advanced plan over here, um, where under the, it, it usually takes about three weeks, three weeks right over there, and under the advanced plan, a comprehensive evaluation of the entire range of financial needs with recommendations and for moving forward are actually done. Remember, there's a dedicated manager, wealth manager, that is going to really focus on actualizing the plan. So this advanced plan step over here is where you evaluate the different securities or investment offering um, that, uh, as well as a plan of action that will guide um, or what you can say um, an investment strategy that is going to guide um, them towards realization of the objectives on behalf of the client. So now the advanced plan over here, um, um, the difference in terms of duration between the advanced plan and this um, step over here, the follow-up meeting, um, should take up um, about one month there. So at this step over here, they have already started um, you know, the process of now um, trying to include the client into the portfolio or into the portfolio. And under this step over here, where the follow-up meeting is actually done, um, and this follow-up meeting is where the organization of accounts and paperwork is actually um, done. Would you be willing to receive um, in, in your statements on a monthly basis or on a two-month basis like that? And over here, the portfolio has already been formulated by the investment managers. And, and once it has already been invested and the asset classes or the funds have already been transferred over here, then this follow-up meeting and the regular process meetings usually takes um, three months. So here they formulate and they invest in the strategy or the investment strategies that have actually been, um, been agreed upon. Then um, regular reviews or regular process meetings um, is usually done in um, um, three months or so. So the review of progress and revision, so rebalancing of the portfolio actually takes place um, under this step um, right over here. And the process then, if there's rebalancing that is needed over here, then you need to go back now um, to um, this step right over here, where we're talking about the investment plan. So if there's rebalancing, you find that maybe there is greater allocations because of movements of the market, or the movement in the market um, requires that maybe say, or will dictate that there will be more equities invested in the portfolio, then you have to come back to this step over here. Then you come up to the mutual consent meeting again. You have to inform the client um, that you need to rebalance the portfolio. Then the advanced plan, then over here, of course, not one month. This process now over here can now take um, probably maybe two days and um, three days and maybe uh, maybe one or one day over here. And then uh, so at most a week um, should actually be um, the process once you constantly review um, um, the progress um, and, and, the pro and then the revision over there. So this is... Um, according to me, the best approach that you, you should be able to follow when managing clients on behalf of um, um, private clients like that. But you, in the investment universe, you may find different strategies um, or different um, processes that are there. Some of them could only be maybe a three-step process, um, the planning step, the execution step, and the feedback step over here, and then constant monitoring and revision like that. But that is too... Um, and what I can say, um, too shallow in my view because um, we, it takes, it takes um, constant um, communication with the client and um, constant involved because it's client driven. So you need to really involve um, the clients um, step on step. And they also need to build a relationship um, over here um, with, with, with the, um, the dedicated managers right over here at this step. So the dedicated managers, instead of calling the entire office, you just call the dedicated manager and, and maybe if there are any needs or any um, redemptions that are needed, then it's, it's fine. You can be able to actually do that um, with the manager there. So this entire process is not um, very static. It's dynamic. It keeps on changing and it also has 
um, different um, opinions from different um, investment experts. But um, the way I feel is that this is um, usually the best um, wealth management process to actually follow um, 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 in um, um, today's setup as of um, today, the time of this um, um, you know, presentation. So this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I will leave you with an assignment. And the assignment is explain the wealth management process. Explain um, the wealth management process. Thank you for being with Manifested Publishers. Thank you and be blessed. Thank you.